you need to understand some key logic principles like the difference between correlation and causation because they are distinct. And I'll briefly review that, that many times we see things happen together at the same time or associated with each other. Like for example, I will often wear a sport coat or a suit jacket and a tie at the same time. And if you calculated the correlation coefficient of the jacket and the tie together in my wardrobe, you would get a very high correlation. However, I don't put on a tie because like a jacket doesn't cause me to put on a tie. There are times when I don't wear a tie with it and a tie doesn't cause me to put on a jacket. A occasion causes both, right? So a formal occasion, like if I to appear in court or to give a lecture or a podcast, that is the cause of me wearing both a jacket and a tie, even though they're highly correlated. So that's a very simple example, but many people will read about a correlation and assume that there is a causative effect. And that would be a very problematic assumption. In fact, you want to look the opposite. If you see something, two things that are highly correlated, you want to think very carefully, is there any possible mechanism of causation? And what are the other associated factors that could be the cause?